How is everything going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another fun and entertaining video involving GTA San Andreas. And this is actually a bit of an addendum to the um, auto importing video I did a while back. And I decided I would fly CJ to um, San Fierro in order to do some um, uh, auto stealing. And one of the most difficult ones to steal is the Patriot, which I'm going to show you why. Plus, I'm going to show a few other things. And at the end, there's some other interesting outtakes that I managed to capture while CJ was running around uh, San Fierro. So let's get on with some fun and stealing some automobiles and trying to steal the Patriot. Easter Basin Naval Station is one of the only places you can kind of find a Patriot, which is the equivalent of a Hummer. And as soon as you get onto the Naval Base, you have a five-star wanted level. And then getting the Patriot back to CJ's garage and then saving is kind of a chore. And that's the funny thing about GTA San Andreas. You get back to the safe house and save, it wipes out your wanted level. So let's see what happens with this attempt. Uh, this ain't going to end too well, I can tell you that right now. Police, FBI, everyone is shooting at CJ and... Oh man, that sucks. Oh, he's going to be dead. Trying to get him to the safe house. Ah, uh, let's play this out. Hey, watch the stoop. Terminate this chase at any cost, Perp. You can't just try and kill me. If at first you don't succeed, try again. And try again I did. This time, um, I just used a different car. It didn't really work to fool anyone. But grab the Patriot and, yeah, get the five-star wanted level. And I, uh... You are beset upon by all kinds of FBI and police once you exit the base. Tried going high on this one to avoid the FBI, but, well, okay. Got spun around and all the fun stuff starts happening. They try and do a pit maneuver. They try and uh, shoot CJ up. This guy keeps tailgating me in a very nasty way. But let's keep playing this out and let's see what happens. Well, that vehicle's toast. At least I'll be able to get CJ a different car, and we're going to be able to get this wanted level off real quick. Ooh, helicopter. Um, into the auto body shop here, and get things repainted, wait until the wanted level falls off. Again, if you can get up to this place, 
or back to CJ's garage in the Patriot and save or at least get the Patriot respray painted, you will succeed. It's just getting there that's uh, kind of a problem. So I avoided the cops. CJ is no worse for wear. Um, we'll give this another try. This time I'm going to change tactics a little bit. And instead of uh, going off the base and trying to head left, I'm going to head right and try this out and check it out. This is going to work. This is going to work. I'm going to cut across the field and all should be good. This is working. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, now they're going to rear end me a lot. And I'm going to try and get to the either CJ's garage or I probably should go for the paint and spray. And we'll see what's happening. Ah, oh, crap. This is not working out very well. They are really hammering. Let's see if I can get up. Uh, try to get to paint and spray here. Nope. They keep pushing me. Oh, crap. I almost reloaded there, but I skipped over the whole hospital area. And the thing is you don't lose your weapons or anything you just lose your body armor when you go to the hospital and a little money now i'm looking around here and trying to find a vehicle to jack there you go and this is one that is needed at the easter basin uh export facility and i'm going to borrow it from this lady and take it there the admiral so let's bring it to the Easter Basin docks. At least I can make some money and get something successful out of this. Where I parked the vehicle is about where you want to park it to pick it up for the crane and do it in a very minimal amount of effort. Now, the more damaged a vehicle is, the less money you are going to make on the exporting of it. And so if you really badly beat up a vehicle, you're better off taking it to the paint and spray, or I'll show you a trick after I do another, um, how shall I say, vehicle heist to export. And one of the things you can also do is you can import vehicles after you have exported them. And I won't show you that yet. I don't have enough vehicles exported to warrant that. And I'm also trying to get the Patriot uh, exported. As you've seen in the past few clips, uh, haven't been successful yet. So once this vehicle is exported, I'm going to cut to where there is another successful heist and CJ can make some more money. And as you see, it's been successful. Uh, $32,795. This is an easy way to make money. Um, $40,000 is the maximum. So somehow the vehicle was damaged enough to where I lost $8,000. But I digress. Now I'm going to cut to where CJ has another vehicle he steals and successfully exports. There's a garage you visit near the beginning of your San Fierro journey. And right here are two vehicles that are good for export. There's this Buffalo, which is needed. And you can just 
yeah, once the auto alarm stops, you can kind of pull it back and bring it to Easter Base and Dock and export it. And I'm trying to be careful not to damage the vehicle. It, yeah, whatever. It's going to get damaged a little bit. I'm going to fast forward to where CJ exports it. Like I said before, if you damage these vehicles a little bit or too much, you can always go to the paint and spray and get it redone. The couple hundred bucks it costs might make you a couple thousand in return. Now, where the hell is that? Okay, here we go. Now, the vehicle itself, I mean, once you have exported it, as I mentioned before, you can import it. But I'll show that maybe in a later video. Another cheap way to, actually cheaper than paint and spray, in order to get your vehicle uh, value up is to park it in a garage and go save and come back and the vehicle is 100% brand spanking new. And then you just drive it very gingerly to the docks here to export. And I'm going to show you uh, with a property CJ purchased on how a vehicle is rejuvenated once you put it in the garage, save, and come back out. And I'll cut to that once this is successfully exported. And boom. Ah, crap. You got to kind of get it into that red circle there. and. The Buffalo is exported, and you can successfully import it if you want. $34,860. bucks. So now I'm going to cut to where you could possibly, well, let's see. I'll take a look, and once you get up to this board here, there should be a text message. Nope. Well, anyway... Uh, I'm going to cut to where you can revive a vehicle just by parking it and saving. As you can see, this police car is kind of badly damaged. Or at least the back end is really badly damaged. And I'm going to fly over here and purchase a nice property here in San Fierro. And it's going to probably cost a hundred grand. Wow, that's expensive. But I bought the property, and now you just park the vehicle in the property. And once the vehicle is parked in the garage, you will automatically, once you save, the vehicle will be revived. Now that CJ is in his new safe house, go to the save, save, and yes, okay, and once CJ exits and this cut screen happens, as you can see, the police car is revived. But I'm going to leave it parked in this garage and run about San Fierro and show you some crazy stuff that um, happened while I was playing the game. And... There will be a series of, how shall I say, cutscenes of some crazy stuff that happened and I couldn't believe I captured it. And this is where I'm going to cut to one of those events. Finally this way, I know kickboxing. Uh, uh, That chick just killed a cop. Holy crap. Well, I'm going to take her down like the Good Samaritan. There's some gunfighting for some reason. She's ducking. Well, I'm going to take her down and then go. Ah, she doesn't got anything worth of value. Now let's see what's going on. And yeah, flip to the hand and... Take a look around here. 
there was another interesting event I recorded. Hey, this guy got shot by the cops. You won't be needing well, this I'll man. take his money and gun, and I'll take his vehicle. Again, I'm going to split over to another interesting event that transpired that I caught while playing this game. Well, this guy runs into CJ and I'm trying to start a fight and he's running away and he's got a gun and I kind of chase him around the car and he gets back into the car and yeah well pull him out and start beating him up Yeah, the weapon transitions are kind of hard in this game, and I'm glad they fixed it later. But uh, yeah, CJ kind of had to firefight his way out, and uh, I think a better part of Valor is to, um, let's see, steal a police car, and get back to where CJ can save, and, oh yeah, and uh, then CJ has a police car. And I'll go on after this to another interesting event that happened while playing this game. As stated, once you save, your uh, wanted level disappears. Now, I'm going to jack this armored car. And, you know, wait, once you jack an armored car, if I can jack it here, uh, your body armor goes up. Flip the guy out, get in, boom. And CJ's body armor will be up to 100% once he exits. Now, the bad problem is that, oh, hey, body armor didn't go up. This sucks. Anyway, I'm going to try and blow it open and see if I can get some money out of it. And now that I'm tossing hand grenades, the wanted level starts going up. So, yeah, uh, armored cars blowing up-ish. And, okay, well, that's not good. So let's get back and save and move on to another odd thing that happened. After the save, I noticed this event here. And, well, hey, this guy is shot by the cops. And then a cop car comes in and rams his vehicle. Uh, the, uh, the whole thing that... I mean, this is kind of bizarro, and then they run him over, and that's what's kind of weird about GTA San Andreas, was some of the physics and stuff that went on was kind of wonky, and <laughs> yeah, a little weird, but kind of funny when you catch it. I'm going to armor CJ up here and get into some other mayhem. Um, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you, if you like this video, like it. If you like this type of video and other types of video I'm doing on this YouTube channel, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Don't know if I have gotten it yet, but hey, it always helps. Because remember, it costs nothing to subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Sure, baby, I like to party.
let's get down to business.